Okay, so right now let's understand the different order types that you can use as a trader. The first order type that you can use is called a market order. A market order simply means that you can buy the financial security right now, whatever price that is currently trading at. All right, you will pay the market price at whatever price is currently trading at. So this is a market order. It means that you want something right now, you'll pay the market price. The second type of order is called a limit order. It basically means that you know you have an idea right in your head whereby you know you want to go and buy a financial security only if it reaches a certain price. So basically what that means is say for example a stock is currently trading at say $110, but you tell yourself, oh you know what, $110 is too expensive. You know what? Instead I'll place a limit order at $100. So what this means is that if the stock comes into $100, you will buy the stock at $100. So this is a limit order. And the last one would be a stop order. So what is a stop order? A stop order basically is that you will only buy a stock if price reaches a certain level. Say for example, this is usually used by breakout traders. Say for example, the high over here is about $150. Then price retraces to about $120. So what you do for a breakout trader is they will place a, a buy stop above the $150. So if price trades higher, it trades to $151, this buy stop order will get triggered and you will only go long if price trades above the $150. So this is a buy stop order and a sell stop order is just basically the opposite. Another variation of the stop order is the stop loss order. So basically a stop loss order works like this. Say for example, all right, you got long, right, when price trades this area over here, say it's at $50. It's currently $50. And you think that this $50, this price here should hold. It shouldn't go any lower. So, but then if price trades lower and say it trades to about $45, you want to be out of the trade because if it reaches $45, you want to exit your trade. So what you can do is you place a stop loss order at $45, meaning that you will be taken out of the trade if price reaches $45. So this is a stop loss order and it's meant to actually mitigate you from further risk in the market. So hopefully I've now explained to you the different order types, right? Market order is an order that you want to buy right here and right now. A limit order is basically buying at a price that is of value, right? You don't want to pay the current market price and you want to buy it at a cheaper price, you use a limit order. And a stop order is basically, you know, used by breakout traders. For example, you know, if price trades higher, then I want to buy. And likewise, if price trades lower, then I want to sell. And a stop order, another variation is a stop loss order, whereby it can help you prevent further risk to your account by getting out your, of your trades, right, using a stop loss order. So with that, right, I hope you enjoyed this post. I wish you all good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.